A big catch has gotten four local fishermen in big trouble. State officials say they caught the men with seven times the legal limit for white bass after a day on Cheatham Lake. Now the anglers could be in hot water. Channel 4's Cody Engdahl has a story for us. For those of us who fish, it would seem like a pretty good day. When you have four anglers come out of the water with 420 fish, 360 of them past their daily krill limit, uh, it's a pretty big deal. A good day until the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency catches you at seven times the legal limit for white bass, or stripe as fishermen call them. This particular boat had been discussed before by anglers. We weren't down there watching them that day. We just happened to be going down there that day when they were coming out. When the TWRA asked the four men what the fish were for, they said they were for personal consumption. Could you imagine somebody having 420? I don't see how a man could eat 420 fish. You know, they'd, uh, they'd spoil even in the freezer by the time you could eat that many. 420 fish in one day. In a full day of fishing, that's like catching a fish every minute. How do they do it? Old-fashioned fishing poles. Ten of them, actually, all of which were confiscated by the TWRA. It's the biggest case I've ever seen concerning over the limit with somebody using a rod and a reel. These guys knew how to catch fish. The four men listed here are due in court April 24th. They could face up to $100 per fish over the limit, as well as have their boat confiscated and licenses revoked. Should make an example out of them and throw the book at them. At Cheatham Lake, Cody Engdahl, Channel 4 News. Now, for those of you who want to know, just curious, the men were using artificial bait, according to the TWRA. TWRA urges anyone who suspects someone of poaching, give them a call.